The transport section has all the normal transport controls, record, play, stop, fast forward, and rewind. Then above that, you can navigate to the left and right locators in the window. You can navigate between the events by going to the previous and next event. And you can also use the memory zap function. And this helps you navigate between disparate areas of the project. If, say, we're zoomed in close in one area and we want to memorize that position, we can hold the mem button and then go to another place in the project and then use the zap button to return back to that previously memorized location. And then pressing zap again returns us to where we were. This is really helpful when editing between different sections on a large project. Above that, we have other transport functions like the pre and post roll, punch in and punch out functions, and the cycle and sync functions. The jog wheel is also a very powerful transport control. It allows you to move the cursor freely throughout the project, both very fast and very slow and precise. In addition, you can use the jog wheel to scrub through audio or shuttle. On the touchscreen, many of the transport controls are duplicated, but there are additional ones, such as the left and right locator position, the pre and post roll enables and their lengths, the snap function and the snap type. You can adjust the grid resolution, change the tempo, and enable the click and adjust its level. On the Markers tab, you have access to the marker tracks in the window and can locate quickly between them. Then there's the ADR page. That'll be covered in another tutorial. And finally, the Overview page, where you can actually zoom and locate throughout the entire project using one finger on the touchscreen. The numeric pad can also be used to locate the project cursor simply by typing in a timecode value. When I do that, the timecode value comes up on the screen when I enter, the cursor locates. If you switch to marker mode and type in a marker number, the marker will pop up on the touch screen and then we'll locate to that marker. If you'd like to set a marker, simply press the set button at your current position and press enter and that marker will be created. If you'd like to set the position of the left and right locators, it works in the same fashion. Press set and hit the left locator and now that has been reset to the current position. Set the right locator, set right.